Hello everyone, how are you guys today? In today's video, I will be showing you how to make carbonized rice hulls in your own backyard in small batches. Ideal for container gardening and growing medium for hydroponics. I will also discuss about the benefits of carbonized rice hulls and how to use it in plants. Rice hulls are one of the most sustainable soil amendments available for improving drainage, water holding capacity, and aeration. Rice hulls are the husks that are removed from each grain of rice after harvest, and they are non-toxic and biodegradable, so they feed the soil as they break down. Rice hulls are extremely lightweight, so they're especially ideal for rooftop gardening or other gardens that require an amendment to make your soil lighter. And now because I want to do some reporting, but I am run out of carbonized rice hulls, I will make my own and we will find out later if it is worth the work to make our own carbonized rice hulls. This rice hulls had been here for quite some time and I am bothered to think that it has been invaded by pests or little crawlers. And if we just use this as it is, it will be detrimental to our plants. In this case, I want to make sure that I will eliminate any of those by making my own carbonized rice house. Let's get started. We will be needing pans and ladle for this procedure. If you have any unwanted or old pans and ladle, it is better to use those. Turn on the stove to medium high. If it has enough, lower the heat. These rice hulls need to be carbonized gradually. Spread the rice hulls into the pan. Heat it until they are dark brown in color. What I did was, I used the smallest fire so that I still can take a break instead of just kept stirring all the time. And the most important is, do not burn until it becomes ashes. Remove from fire and let it cool. This rice house had been away from fire for about 15 minutes. Whenever I steer, smoke still keeps coming out. It is still very hot under and it will take time for it to cool down. I will share to you my thoughts about making our own carbonized rice house. This is just my own observation and my own opinion. It may be considered as simple as that, but it is not economical to burn rice hulls in our home or backyard. The smell of the smoke of this rice husk while cooking is very strong. It's kind of like you are burning plastics with grass. And obviously, it is very bad for everyone who will smell this smoke. I will be sensitive enough to think of other people who might have a heart or lung disease. This for sure will be my first and last try of making carbonized rice hulls. I thought I could save some money because carbonized rice hull is, is more expensive than regular rice hulls. And the thought of saving money, this procedure might do harm than good. I will leave this job to the experts. 
because they have the machineries like carbonizer and other tools to protect them from being harmed. Anyway, no matter what, I will still purchase carbonized rice hulls for my plants. Because by mixing it with soil, it will provide more moisture and nutrient retention. It also absorbs odors and keeps the root system clean and hygienic. Carbonized rice hulls is very good soil fertilizer and conditioner as it contains phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and micronutrients. It also harbors good bacteria and it serves as a house for microorganisms. However, keep in mind that they are an organic material and will therefore break down over time. You might be better off amending your soil with either perlite or pumice which will not break down and will not need to be replaced every few years. That's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you learned something new from this topic, please like, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Till next time, maraming pong salamat. Bye!